The examination of ancient DNA provides evidence of the presence of Down syndrome in ancient human civilizations. Greetings, everyone. Today's video focuses on an intriguing discovery made by researchers regarding ancient human populations. It has been determined that as far back as 4,500 years ago, there were six instances of Down syndrome and one case of Edwards syndrome found among these communities. What makes this even more fascinating is that these individuals were not only given proper burials, but also accompanied by special grave goods, indicating that they were valued members of their respective societies. This groundbreaking study, led by the University of Adelaide and the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, involved analyzing the DNA of approximately 10,000 ancient and pre-modern humans in search of evidence of autosomal trisomies. The findings have been published in the esteemed journal Nature Communications. Without further delay, let us delve into our discussion. In various populations residing in Spain, Bulgaria, Finland and Greece up to 4,500 years ago, the team discovered six instances of Down syndrome and one instance of Edwards syndrome. The findings of the study revealed that these individuals were laid to rest with great care, often accompanied by special burial items, indicating the high regard in which they were held within their respective ancient communities. Under the leadership of Dr. Adam Ben Rurla from the University of Adelaide and Dr. Kay Prufer from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, a global collaborative study was conducted. This study encompassed the examination of DNA samples from around 10,000 ancient and pre-modern humans with the aim of identifying autosomal trisomies. Autosomal trisomies refer to the presence of an additional third copy of one of the first 22 chromosomes in individuals. Dr. Rurlach, a statistician from the University of Adelaide School of Mathematical Sciences, utilized an innovative statistical model to examine the DNA obtained from human remains spanning various historical periods, including the Mesolithic, Neolithic, Bronze and Iron Ages, up until the mid 1800s Through this analysis, six instances of Down syndrome were detected. Although it was anticipated that individuals with Down syndrome had likely existed in earlier times, it is only now that we have the capability to accurately identify such cases in ancient remains, as relying solely on skeletal remains for diagnosis is not conclusive. The presence of an additional chromosome 21 is the underlying cause of Down syndrome. By implementing a groundbreaking Bayesian method, the scientists successfully identified six instances of this genetic condition, effectively and efficiently examining numerous samples of ancient DNA. According to Dr. Patsuka de Miguel Ibanez, the lead osteologist for the Spanish sites at the University of Alicante, the statistical model can accurately determine when an individual possesses an excess of approximately 50% DNA from a particular chromosome. In our study, we conducted a comparison between the skeletal remains of individuals with Down syndrome to identify any shared skeletal abnormalities, such as irregular bone growth or porosity in the skull bones. This analysis could potentially aid in the identification of future cases of Down syndrome in situations where ancient DNA cannot be retrieved. During the investigation, a solitary instance of Edwards syndrome, a rare disorder resulting from an extra copy of chromosome 18, was discovered. This condition manifests with significantly more severe symptoms compared to Down syndrome. The skeletal structure exhibited profound irregularities in growth, and the estimated gestational age at the time of demise was approximately 40 weeks. Various cultures and time periods have revealed cases that were exclusively found in perinatal or infant burials. Dr. Rurlach states that these individuals were laid to rest in accordance with the customary rituals of their era or were given unique treatment, suggesting that they were recognized as valued members of their community and were not treated disparately, even in death. Professor Roberto Risch, an archaeologist from the Autonomous University of Barcelona, shared a fascinating discovery regarding cases of genetic disorders in individuals from the early Iron Age in Spain. It is worth noting that they came across the sole instance of Edwards syndrome, as well as a significant rise in occurrences of Down syndrome. 
Although it is uncertain if these babies actually lived past birth, their remains were found interred in homes within the settlement or in other significant structures. The reason behind this occurrence remains unknown, as the prevailing practice during that period was cremation. However, it seems evident that there was a deliberate selection of these infants for unique burial arrangements. The publication of the research in the esteemed journal Nature Communications was the culmination of a vast collaborative effort, led by esteemed researchers from the University of Adelaide, such as Dr. Adam Ben Rurlach, Dr. Jonathan Tuke, and Associate Professor Bastian Lamas. The project also involved scientists from various global institutions, including the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany, where the data was originally generated. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.